Hey, all you readers, now that you're so great at all those new jobs, you must be ready for some even bigger challenges. But here's the thing about big jobs. The tougher the job, the bigger the tool you will need. If somebody is building a house, that person would have little jobs and big jobs to do. For a little job like putting in a mailbox, the person could just grab a shovel off the shelf. But a bigger job would need a bigger tool. Something more powerful like a bulldozer. Are you ready to use some bigger, more powerful tools in your reading? Okay, I knew you'd be up for the job. So today, I want to teach you that readers don't just look at the pictures. Mm -mm. They also think about what is happening in the story to help them figure out what word would make sense. Okay, readers, now you have a new tool to help you with your reading work. Add it to your tool belt. Wait, no. Our tools are getting much too big for a tool belt. Put it in your big toolbox. Let me show you what this new tool looks like. So you'll be able to use it in your books. Just yesterday, I found this great book, Zelda and Ivy, The Runaways in our classroom library. I'll read a little bit of it. And if I get stuck, will you remind me to think about the big things that are happening in this story? Chapter one, The Runaways. Dad's making cucumber sandwiches for lunch, said Ivy. Not again, said Zelda. That's it. I'm running away. Zelda stuffed her lucky jewel, PJ's blanket, writer's notebook, and an extra pair of socks into her suitcase. I'm coming too, said Ivy. She packed her Princess Mimi doll, PJ's, tea set, and go fish cards. Zelda marched across the backyard. Ivy followed. Zelda spread her blanket behind the butterfly bush. Here's a good spot, she said. We can see the house, but no one in the house can see us. The Fox sisters peeked through the bush at their parents. Mom and Dad will really... Mm, us, said Ivy. Looks like I've got a job to do. Well... I can see from the picture that mom and dad are in the house. I know it's a little blurry, but you can still make them out. But that doesn't help me to figure out this word right here. Let me try again. I think I need a better tool to help me with this job. Let me look back at my chart. Let's try thinking about what's happening in the story. That'll help us check if that makes sense. All right. Okay, okay, now I'm thinking, okay, so, uh, hmm. Zelda and Ivy's dad made cucumber sandwiches for lunch. And then, Zelda and Ivy didn't want to eat the sandwiches, so they ran away. And now they think their mom and dad will... Wait! Could this word be... Miss? Because now they're gone. Maybe their parents will miss them. <gasps> that makes sense. Let's go back to the book. Mom and dad will really miss us. It looks right too. Okay, readers, now it's your turn. Uh, let's try this new tool, okay? Let's read on a little bit. And when we come across another tricky word, will you remember to stop and think what is happening on this page? What else has happened in the story so far? Yes, said Zelda. They'll be sorry they made us k. Oh, man. Remember to also think about what is happening on this page and what has happened in this story so far. Okay, now, readers, think. What could this word be? What word would make sense here? Hmm. First, Dad made Zelda and Ivy cucumber sandwiches, and then they ran away. Hmm. They'll be sorry they made us <gasps> cucumber sandwiches. Hey, there it is. Yes, said Zelda. They'll be sorry they made us cucumber sandwiches. 
Ooh. Whenever you get stuck on a tough word, it's not enough to just look at the pictures. Make sure you also ask what's happening in the story to help you think of a word that makes sense. Okay, I want to put this box down now. It's way too heavy. Ugh. Woo. We've got a lot of reading strategies.